this is Chloral Ants. Today I'm going to show you how to make it. For this project we only need two chemicals. The first one is chloral hydrate and the second one is a dehydrating agent, in our case concentrated sulfuric acid. I got the chloral hydrate alongside some other chemicals from laboratorium discounter for free, but I have to say they got some great packaging and high quality chemicals. A fun fact about chloral hydrate. It has been used as a hypnotic sedative in the past, but obviously I'm not going to use it as such because the side effects wouldn't be worth it. If you ate it, it wouldn't be good for your liver and it apparently also leads to bloating. Nowadays it can largely be replaced by barbiturates and benzodiazepines which are much safer and better for your liver. So to start off I placed a paper weighing tray onto scale and transferred some chloral hydrate, 10 grams to be precise, onto this weighing tray. Chloral hydrate forms these beautiful crystals. It also smells really nice. It kind of reminds me of menthol, but it smells vastly different, but still good. Using a powder addition funnel, all of the chloral hydrate was transferred to the small flask. The neck of the round butter flask was pretty thin, so we used a spatula and brute force to get everything in. Our next step is to measure out 5 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Why do we need sulfuric acid? Well, on the left you can see some chloral hydrate. See those two hydroxy groups, we need to remove them. With the help of sulfuric acid we rip off one water molecule and end up with chloral. So 5 milliliters of sulfuric acid were measured out using the syringe. The apparatus we are using looks like this. We have a heating mantle and a stirrer hot plate connected to a simple distillation bridge. Chloral hydrate and sulfuric acid have been mixed down in the reaction flask. To ensure good mixing the stirrer was turned on and we waited for the chloral hydrate and sulfuric acid to be mixed. The dehydration reaction of chloral hydrate using sulfuric acid should already proceed at room temperature. But we want a pure product, so how do we get one? Well, we need to distill off the chloral. Chloral has a boiling point of about 97 degrees celsius, which is lower than that of the water. Water boils at 100 degrees celsius. The sulfuric acid acts as a dehydration reagent and therefore little to no water should actually come over despite being near the boiling point of water. The temperature maxed out at about 97 degrees celsius which was to be expected and soon afterwards our first drops of chloral came over. A lot of the chloral was condensing on the walls of the distillation flask and therefore I decided to wrap it in aluminium foil. You can see that it boiled over quite fast and that it formed these bubbles. The moment this much chloral was collected and the temperature was still at 97 degrees celsius, I removed the aluminium foil. Why? I didn't want any water to get over because water coming over is going to hydrolyze the chloral again to form chloral hydrate and we don't want that. We also shut off the heating mantle and lowered it down so it doesn't have a connection to the flask anymore. For the next step we have to be quick. I removed the flask and stop at it. But not before preparing anything else. I already prepared the ampules and filled them up. As you can see our product is a liquid. This proves that we didn't make chloral hydrate which is a solid despite chloral hydrate basically having the same boiling point as chloral. The ampules were sealed shut. Before filling and sealing the ampules, I placed both of them on a scale and set the scale to zero so we can actually know how much chloral we collected. The ampules and the next we removed were placed on the scale and we took a look at its display. We began with 10 grams of chloral hydrate and ended up with about 7.02 grams of chloral. This means that we got a 78.8% yield. During the cleanup I noticed that there were some solid specks in the distillation equipment. This is actually chloral hydrate, some chloral hydrolyzed and reformed chloral hydrate. Let me end today's video with the slow motion footage of this lightning which I captured. I wish all of you a great day, until next time.